What's going on, everybody? In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be breaking down my glitchy defensive scheme and how it can make you a better player in Madden 22 on the defensive side of the ball. Now, in Madden 22, getting that one or crucial two stops determines the game 90% of the time. So if you need any help in Madden 22, make sure that you drop a like on this video, hit that red subscribe button so you can be notified when more Madden 22 defensive tips and tricks is released. How are you doing everybody? You can get merchandise, you can get ebooks at a discounted price using code Xmas. I repeat, merchandise in the store in the link in the description all ebooks are 15 percent off using discount code xmas blessings all right we are in my kansas city chiefs defense i like to use the nickel normal and the nickel 335 like i said we can't go to zone drops and do all that good stuff so we're just gonna have to play base so if you are facing like a gun bunch a gun trips tight end i'm gonna show you a couple adjustments that I like to make my base setup that I like to do is my cloud flats, I like to have them between 20 and 30 yards. Now, when somebody starts showing you that they are trying to do the over the 20 yard adjustments, that's when you wanna change your blues or your cloud flats to outside thirds. So if you do wire triangle two times, highlight the X receiver or the B receiver who is a cornerback, Go to him and then push outside third, left stick up. That's going to help you with corner routes and all that. So if they doing corner routes on one side of the field, just put them in the outside third and then preferably base a line and press. That'll help. That guy will stay underneath corner routes. Okay, so now we're going to go back to random play. If y'all need more help on basic adjustments, if you need more help on how to run match defense or how to set up super fast edge blitzes and pressure go to my patreon or the ebooks down below so my blues i like to have between 20 and 30 yard depth now these guys right here i usually put safeties in now the base setup that i like to do i like to have my blues on 20 to 30 and then i put my linebackers aka safeties into purples so you can do that by clicking on them that way or you can do quick adjust, right D pad two times, click on him, right D pad two times, click on him, and you all set. Now, I keep my user right here blitzing because a three man rush gets about a five to seven second window before he can get to the quarterback. A four man blitz gets between two and a half seconds to four seconds. I'm gonna show you. So, right here, I'm gonna hike the ball with my user in the blitzer angle. I'm not gonna cover anything and I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about. So, we hike the ball one, two, three. Somebody comes around. Now, I'm gonna take myself off the blitzer angle and I'm gonna show you something different. So, I'm gonna put my guy into a zone like this. I'm gonna come over here with the basic three man rush. We're gonna hike the ball one, two, three, four. Okay, so that guy still got good pressure in about four seconds. But let's see a two-man rush. So put him into that. Put him into a spot if you're only rushing two people. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seconds. Okay? He got a strip fumble. He got a strip fumble, but it was seven seconds. So a three-man rush looks like it's pretty decent, but a four-man rush is the best. So I make my adjustments. I keep a blitzing angle, whether I come over here and hover. Now, what I'm looking for is... The first route that goes out, I'm going to let this guy take care of it. The next route that comes out is going to be mine. So I would do something like this. I would take that middle linebacker, put him on B. And then the only thing I got to worry about is the tight end streak or that slot receiver coming down the seams or a crossing route. So I'll come right here, the tight end, the running back is going to be open underneath. But you can see that was about a three second block shed. Now you can make adjustments to the running back and stuff. I go into another breakdown on how when your opponent is sending the running back out, how to make them pay. So you can see we get the super fast pressure. I go from when he gets the ball. So one, two three seconds okay he can hit the running back over and over and over that's one gonna fatigue the running back he's gonna be doing juke moves spins all that and number two 
you can lay a big hit or send instant pressure and then jump out there to the running back and get an easy pick that you're gonna see in the breakdown. So once again, I put both of them into zones like that and then this time we're gonna take the running back away. So it's that fast, already set up. So we're gonna go, I'm in the blitzer angle, boom, tight end right there, I got this crosser underneath in about three, four seconds, he gets locked down. Like I said, in practice mode, you can't do zone drops. So your cover two shell and all that might get open. Boom, take that tight end away. So you can have the running back and the tight end cross man. So only thing you got to worry about is this. You running with this route right here. Boom, three, three and a half seconds. Somebody is breaking free for an easy sec. So now we're going to go into some gameplay. And I'm going to show you exactly how I lock down gun bunch and trips tight end. So now we're going to go into... Like a trips tight end. Boom, right here. So, PA slot corner. Trips tight end. They usually try to do a bomb out of trips tight end. Okay? So, you can't do zone drops in practice mode. That's the reason why I say don't follow a lot of practice mode tips. In practice mode, you can't really do zone drops. And to stop the trips tight end is key for you to have zone drops. Because you put in your blue zones on 25 or 30 is going to help you make the key adjustments that you need so say this guy was on the strength of the formation if they came out in gun trips tight end okay so what i like to do with this setup is i would take that safety yy or triangle triangle and i would put him into an inside quarter now this safety right here you can keep into a deep half or you can put him into an inside third and that will stop the bomb that usually comes from they streaking this guy right here and then this guy is doing a deep post that right there will contain the bomb all the way okay now if you want to take the lower route over right there you can do it like that if they trying to roll out you can blitz that guy so you can contain contain bring him down like that so you'll have the contain on the edge and you'll have that blitzing cornerback that you want to mix in. You don't want to do it every single time. My play art is all messed up, but this setup like this, having that inside quarter, you got to have at least zero to 20 yard depths on your zone drop so you can have that inside quarter play the route that he's supposed to. So if he comes out here, hikes the ball and tries to roll out, we're just going to go like this. We're going to roll out of the pocket. Boom. You're going to see he's going to get a super fast contain. Okay. So we're going to do it again. So they go into... They go over here to trips tight end because a lot of people will audible into a different play. So if we flip the play and you got zone drops on because you see that he picked trips tight end. So you will make an adjustment like this. Keep that deep half, have that inside quarter right there. And then you can go contain and then blitz him and press. Okay, so now you got the contains in the press over there. So you can do anything on this right hand side. You can cross man these guys and your inside linebacker or you can help him with the wide guy out there and you can come over here to him he's going to be the first route that usually goes underneath or a quick hitch so once he hikes the ball we're going to run over here boom super fast sack as you can see let's get into some gameplay breakdown all right so now we're going to get into some gameplay breakdown drop a like on the video my opponent is running gun trips tight in. and you're going to see I'm going to make adjustments to my zone drops because I'm running cover two. Now, just like I showed you, I'm going to take that safety opposite of the trip side, put him into an inside quarter. Okay. We're going to man up any receiver on the left on this play. I manned up the inside receiver. I'm using the blitzing angle. Now, only thing I want to do is make sure that the deep bomb is not open. That's what a lot of people is going to run against you. So you want to make sure that your shell behind it is covered. So he's rolling. He tries to throw it right there. And we have the inside quarter in the area. Now, if he would have set his feet and waited two to three more seconds, he had a chance to get it across the field. But right here, you're going to see instead of me using that guy, I actually let that blitz and cornerback come in that's how you completely confuse your opponent and take away what he planned on doing now he didn't have enough time to do another play and that was the end of the half now i run the 335 to make my opponent feel comfortable he's sending the running back out sending the running back out right here he's going to do spin moves he's going to take big hits he's going to make him fatigue later on is going to come back to bite him once again we send in fast pressure my patreon and my ebooks has everything that you need to know the whole match coverage seminar and how to get super fast 
pressure off of the left and off of the right. Right there, he throws it up. Should have been an interception. Right here, his fatigue running back catches it out the backfield. Big hit, hit him in his mouth, fumble. Now we turn it into a three possession game. Every time my opponent has the ball, I want him to take three to four minutes to get down the field. I can score in the first three plays, but on defense, I want him to work. And then once he starts sending more routes out, I can send pressure. And once he makes a mistake, I punch him in his mouth. Let's go.